President-elect Donald Trump continues to fill positions in his second administration, announcing Chris Wright as his nominee to lead the Department of Energy. Wright, the chief executive of Liberty Energy, the world's second largest fracking services company, is one of the most outspoken critics of efforts to combat climate change, posting this video on LinkedIn last year. There is no climate crisis, and we're not in the midst of an energy transition either. But 99% of climate scientists agree humans are causing global warming and climate change. The Department of Energy's own website states, a clean energy revolution is taking place across America, underscored by the steady expansion of the U.S. renewable energy sector. The president-elect has also announced a controversial choice for attorney general, former Congressman Matt Gates. A bipartisan House committee has been investigating Gates for allegations of sexual misconduct and illicit drug use. Sources tell ABC News a woman testified he had sex with her when she was only 17, something Gates denied. In a statement, Gates said these allegations are invented and would constitute false testimony to Congress. Sources tell ABC News the committee was preparing to vote on releasing that report, but then Gates resigned from Congress after being nominated by Trump, effectively ending the investigation. Now, a growing number of Republican senators who will have to vote on whether to confirm Gates say they want to see that report. I think there should not be any limitation on the Senate Judiciary Committee's investigation, including uh, whatever the House Ethics Committee has generated. Johnny Fernandez, ABC News, New York.